Uh, hi guys. Uh, first of all, welcome every uh, one of you to another Aussie's live sessions. And uh, this is me, Santos, uh, and I work as an education consultant um, as an education consultant at Aussie's uh, Group Elizabeth. And and um, I am Park Park Patel. Actually, I am a registered migration agent working at Aussie's Elizabeth office. And guys, uh, today we believe we have a very interesting and uh, a very creative content to share with you guys. So uh, basically we'll be talking about two very, um, you know, in demand and the future, uh, future oriented career that is data scientist and business analyst. So throughout the scientist, uh, so data scientist, uh, so first of all, uh, you know, the how um, our market environment or the present uh, uh, conditions is uh, evolving day by day. And, uh, you know, five years ago, we used to see IT and accounting as a completely different uh, uh, background, a uh, completely different area, but that's no longer the case. You know, like uh, they have evolved and they have gone side to side to side uh these days and so in order to address those kind of uh, you know the profession or career uh, that's when business analyst or data scientist come into picture so throughout this video we'll try our best to give you a few insight uh, on these uh, you know what they do what do you what should you expect should you go for this kind of uh, uh courses and uh, we'll try to be as informative as possible. If you guys have any queries, concerns, or if you have any questions or individual cases to discuss with us, leave us in the comments, uh, text us, call us, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. So, Park, you know, like I said, uh, the our market is evolving, right? So now, you know, so we'll we'll try to we will try to give our students with the best advice, like how they can prepare for the future, and still, and accounting and IT and always has been very attractive and uh, you know popular courses among international students. So, so any uh, so we believe data scientists or business analysts would uh, would attract any you know. <clears throat> Uh, any students uh, or who is uh, willing to transition their career or who has completed their bachelor's in IT or accounting. So we believe that uh, they can look into data scientists or business analysts, right? Yeah. So um, business analyst and data scientist, as Santos um, said, these occupations are um, like emerging occupations where um, there are lots of uh, new employment opportunities are created and uh, that's where um, if you are looking to develop your career or if you are looking um, into applying for permanent residency even through even through these occupations it's possible so firstly we'll be talking about what this occupation uh, what these uh, people what business analysts this uh, data scientists do and um, then we'll be talking about where you can um, study this kind of courses what are the career outcomes and the migration um, uh, prospects in terms of permanent residency with this occupation so um, if I start with uh, business analyst occupation this occupation it's it's already been there uh, since long and lots of people are working even as a business analyst um, that is a business analyst generally improvise um, any business processes or services products um, in any company which is generally relevant to um, IT and that's where the occupation is known as ICT information communication and technology business analyst so business analysts generally modify uh, the technologies in in the current business and uh, they try to so a business analyst it's something like a, they they bridge two different fields which is accounting and it so they will look at business prospect and uh, business business prospect so they will improvise any it related services or products in any company so they will generally understand the requirements of any client so their user maybe and uh, then they will pass on the details to their fellow software engineers or the programmers so that they can find the optimal solution so that the business can work better um, they can improvise uh, their efficiency so and that's where uh, business analysts are also known as um, agent of the change um, so business analysts it's it's quite uh, there in the market and uh, that occupation is uh, it's available in high demand in uh, immigration occupation list as well however the new, new occupation which is very close to a business analyst role is data scientist which department is planning to add into high demand list under the occupation information and organization uh, professionals not elsewhere classified so data scientist will be part of their occupation that's what 
um, it's it's not guaranteed though however um, department of employment has announced that um, as per their recommendation um, they are saying that data scientists will be a part of MLTSSL occupation list in the next financial year so again we'll have to wait for the department to finalize that but then Santosh will be talking about what this uh, data scientists generally do and what are the options for data scientists in Australia okay <clears throat> so like Pat said or like we said you know um, the 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 market is evolving so uh, the traditional roles of an accounting or, or IT they have changed and uh, it's gonna we believe it's gonna change in the future as well so for somebody who is really into coding or mathematics or statistics and they will understand the business uh, side of an industry and you know, <clears throat> so business analyst and that's when business analyst and uh, data scientist comes into play so let me explain a little bit about data data scientists so what did they do what do you actually do and uh, what's your job uh, job titles would be and uh, what's your migration or educational goal what you like are going to describe uh, about you know the migration and the, uh, a little bit more about educational goal right so you know uh, lots of uh, organizations nowadays use uh, lots of data you know to formulate uh, their plans and policies you know nowadays uh, the importance of data in any organization has like uh, mm, uh, increased exponentially that means like uh, in order to make any decisions or go through any change in order to formulate and collecting data uh, out of thousands data that you have and uh, you provide that data to the stakeholders or your employer so that they can make better um, decisions so what basically that means is uh, data scientists they have they use coding and programming to extract their data and business analysts use that data to formulate the plans and policies and they help the business uh, in moving forward right so uh, so throughout your studies, uh, what you're going to learn as a data scientist is you learn the origins and method of extracting data, manipulation of data, project management, um, you know, machine artificial intelligence, and machine language learning. So with that, uh, you can be, uh, you can uh, you know you. Uh, separate the sets of data from the data available and uh, hand over to the you know the business or industry to make or to formulate the better plans and policies so uh, so after you after the completion of this course uh, so you can you will be equipped or you can seek employment in the field of data science developer data scientist or data engineer data or statistical analyst data modeler or data architect machine learning engineer or big data engineer so you know there's a uh, lots of uh, scope available so like i said anybody who is, who is from it or accounting background and they want to look for something for the future or uh, if they are stuck uh, with their courses who doesn't have any future pathway this could be really interesting and uh, next option for you guys <clears throat> so if you guys uh, you know have any like i said any questions or anything uh, to discuss uh, in this matter you can always uh, leave the comment uh, text or email uh, or call us we'll try our best to get back to you as soon as possible uh, we will uh, help you set up your educational and migration outline so that you can achieve your goals and um, so path like like we discussed business analyst data scientist so they can get the skill assessment in the, in different occupation list right so can you please elaborate more about uh, you know how they can get the skill assessment yeah sure um, one more thing i wanted to point out will be uh, the career outcomes when you look at so it's not just about finding a job it's also about uh, when you look at these occupations, it's it's paid at very high rate. When you look at business analyst, generally the starting packages, what you will be looking at will be generally around 60K or it can be more depending on if you have more years of experience or if you have specific skills, what employer is looking for. And when you look at data scientists, they are actually earning a bit higher because it's, it's something with the data management where um, when you look at the salary range for data scientists you will see at least around 65 to 70 thousand as a starting salary which is a good um, salary you can look at and again depending on the experience you could be earning a bit more um, or maybe even more than 100k so it's just not about um, you are looking at permanent residency options through these courses but it's also about you are building your career if you have really you are if you are really interested in business related courses, IT related courses or when you are uh, more into uh, like dealing with the data then you can look at uh, this kind of courses 
when you look at a uh, migration point of when you look at this occupation into migration point of view then business analyst is um, already there in the occupation list under mld assessor list and there is another very similar occupation which is known as management consultant which is also under mld assessor list management consultants and business analyst are very you can say similar profile business analyst generally deals with the ict i information communication technology related modification or they are advising uh, companies about improvement in ict related technologies however when you look at management consultant that is generally into other managerial business related issues um, in any other generalized companies you can look at or any finance related companies um, you can look at so management consultant it's also under high uh, demand occupation list mld ssl list and uh, that has actually beat high demand um, uh, in the market as well it's just that when you look at this role it will be available in bit higher level bit high uh, kind of level companies so when you look at business analyst that might be that position might be required even in small to medium range of companies so you can say that man, business analyst will have more job opportunities business uh, management consultant also have higher uh, like prospects it's just that the companies which generally offer this kind of roles are bit high level so um, again when you look at the salary uh, like what earnings you will be looking at will be also higher for management so consultant so basically this is a very high paying job yes you yes, can say so right right so i so i also want to add few things like there are some universities that provide you with real industry experience so if you if you decide to pursue master of data science or master of analytics or something like that so we can provide you with some university that's going to provide you and that's uh, that has the options of industrial experience in your, in in your relevance field so like we said the whole purpose of this live session of this video is to provide it or coding or the accounting background students to provide uh, them into new insights of what they can do they can uh, like if you are really passionate about uh, this kind of industry or this kind of profession where well, just um, you can uh, plan ahead and uh, you really is looking uh, you can prepare yourself for the future so we believe this uh, data the importance of data is going to increase uh, more than ever and as a business analyst and as a data scientist you're going to provide you can feel that role so if there, so somebody who is already working in a, working as an accountant or if you are willing to transition your career uh, then uh, you can do master of data science data science and uh, you can just uh, be ready for the future as well so uh to talk about entry requirement part you know you can do either undergraduate or postgraduate program right so for undergraduate the english requirement is uh, six no less than six and uh, you academically you need uh, 70% or more yeah mm -hmm. so for postgraduate you need any bachelor level or any australian equivalent bachelor level courses and english requirement is 6.5 no not less than six so it's it's pretty straightforward and uh, uh so if you guys uh, there are some university that provide scholarship and everything so if you want to discuss uh, you know closely just um, brief analysis of your cases because every case is different right so we're gonna have to go uh, student to like you know by each student so you can just always contact us and we'll try to you know we'll analyze your situation we will we'll make a career plan for you and can advise you better so just uh, just feel free to contact us if you guys have any questions or queries so so yeah, I'll just yeah. I'll just talk about uh, the assessment. Yep. So, uh, business analyst that occupation is assessed by ACS, Social and Computer Society, and that that generally asks for either a professional year program in IT, um, which is which is again um, processed or it can be done under ACS, which is regularized by ACS, or if you have one year of post study experience in Australia or outside of Australia. So, if you have finished your undergrad degree suppose over here or master's degree in australia and then if you have one year of experience then also you can get your qualification assist or if you have pro completed professional year program in australia then you can get your degree assist it's also possible that if you have experience back home um, in your country suppose at least two years and a relevant degree then also you can get your qualification assist and then you can look at permanent residency options th through this uh, occupation when you look at management consultant role or suppose data scientist role management consultant that is that occupation is um, it's directly available into the occupation list however data scientist occupation it's not currently available onto the occupation list but um, it will be uh, most likely available under the occupation informations and organization professionals not not elsewhere classified that occupation is also assessed by vetasis 
and Vetasis for management consultant and for this occupation they have the same requirements of having relevant qualification like completed a relevant qualification at least at an undergrad degree or higher level and at least one year of experience post qualification so um, you require relevant qualification and uh, one year of experience after your com completion of your course in that case you will be able to apply uh, for a skills assessment as a data scientist like under the occupation information and uh, uh, organization professionals not as well classified or under the management consultant um, role and both occupations uh, management consultant is already available on MITSS at least uh, and about the information uh, program like uh, information and organization professionals that occupation most likely department will be adding into MITSS at least in next financial year so through these occupations you will be able to apply for 189, 190 and 491 visa all of that categories because occupation if it is added under emirati SSL list then you will have access to all of the visa options so um, in terms of career wise and also in terms of migration wise these courses uh, will add value uh, to your career and uh, that's where if you are looking at studying a course which is relevant to IT or something relevant to data then these are the best courses you should look into. Uh, for management consultant, you can look at any course which is relevant to uh, business management related courses will be all considered as a relevant qualification. So that's also fine. The only concern will be getting one year of experience in this occupation. So if you really wanted to be in this field, you will have to make sure that you also get one year of experience post qualification. For business analyst, you will have option that in, in case if you cannot get experience, then at least you will have option of completing professional year program and you can look at migration pathways but if you really wanted to do the course then i think finding a job won't be that much difficult because there are lots of opportunities available in the market right so like you said the whole purpose of this live session was uh, we wanted to you know we want to come with new uh, in a career options for you guys that's uh, both suitable in terms of educational your career and migration needs so if you guys uh, have anything that you guys want us to discuss about, just leave it in the comment and next time we'll try to you know, come up with that content. So I think uh, that's about it. We, yeah. Yeah, we talked about interview requirement, uh, you know, like, like you said, uh, very high in demand and uh, it's a future, uh, future career, has a tremendous future career prospect. And if you guys into, if you have guys into accounting, business, data, or IT, and uh, you guys always can look into these, uh, these two professions, business analyst or data scientist. So uh, that's it for today, I guess. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you so much for being with us. And um, uh, we try to be better with time. And uh, uh, like I said, uh, business analyst and data scientist, and we'll be coming up with this kind of content uh, in the future. If you guys have anything in mind, you can leave in the comment and we can, we can, we can discuss it, you know? And you can always leave a text, uh, comment, or email, or, or even call us, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Yes. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you.